Hey everyone, Ali here. Welcome to another video where I make content on how to make solid trades using my five years of trading experience. When I first started trading, one of my biggest problems was that I knew what I had to do, but when the opportunity presented itself, I still would end up missing the trade and later just regret and then promise myself that I won't miss it again and again the next day I would miss it. And I just couldn't fix that issue. I just didn't know why it was happening until I realized in order to catch a good trade, I have to be prepared before the market even opened. So in other words, you must have a plan before the market even opens so that when the market does what you were expecting it to do, you are already prepared to be able to hit the buy or sell button. So in this video, I'll be walking you through with an example on how to make a solid trade plan before the market opens so that you're not caught like a deer in the headlights and instead prepared and ready to cash the trade. So just the other day before the market opened, I said NVIDIA had a break of key level support at 209 area and a high chance of continuation down towards for a short. Short means the stock is going to go down. And then I even um, uh, made a screenshot and actually said here there's a support right here and now it has broken this support so there's a high chance that the stock is going to go down today when the market opens okay and then obviously uh, this actually did end up happening and this is what happened next day here it is um, after open the stock went down that's like this looks like a very small candle but it's a daily chart which is about 10 points so basically in options worth like over 100% um, but in 10 points, even if you short 100 shares, basically you make up end up making a thousand dollars. So I'm going to talk about basically how to find this. Okay. And how actually I found this and then actually what happened and where and how to actually enter your trade when it actually does the market does do what you thought it was going to do. All right. So let's go and look at the chart. All right. So here's the Nvidia chart. This is obviously the daily chart. I guess if you don't know, this is the 15 minute chart. This is the one minute chart. And this is the five minute chart. Um, that is how I like to keep my chart set up for each stock because this gives me an overall bird's eye view of the stock, what's happening. I can just look at the stock and exactly tell what's happening in all time frame at the same time. Now, in order to first create a solid trade plan, you always look at the daily chart first. So this is the daily chart. I'm going to actually maximize this daily chart here real quick so that you can see what I was thinking. Okay. So number one thing is that I, this is what happened. Notice here, the stock had a really, really nice, uh, support right here. And it was kept bouncing at this two nine, two or seven around this area. It kept bouncing this area, but lately this every time, unlike all the other time, the stock came down and bounced, came down and bounced, came down and bounced. So I knew that there were really good buyers here. Okay. But if the stock does break, then they know all have their stop loss right below it. So I know their stop loss will be below the support level. Notice what happened here this time when the stock did come down instead of bouncing, it did not, it just stayed around here, which means the buyers are not confident anymore. And that is why there was this break right here. And once this break, everybody who bought here, okay, because their stop loss was right below this area, they got stopped out or they start to sell because now they know the support is not holding anymore. The stock is continuing to go down now. So that being said, I realize what other people are doing. So before the market open, I know what other people are doing and that's what you should know that what other people are doing and what they're going to do today. Okay. So now that I know, Hey, if when the market opens today, the stock did break down. So the next day is going to be a negative day, most likely. Okay. Especially if the market is negative, it's going to help a lot even more. So now that my game plan is okay, I'm going to be looking for a short. Okay. I'm not going to be looking for a long, a lot of people think, Oh my God, Nvidia is down a lot, you know, down from 300 to 190 is around. So I'm going to buy now, right? That's what you're thinking because it's down so much going to bounce. Well, no, if it breaks the support level, then it's not going to bounce, going to continue down further. All right. So that being said, now let's look at it, how to enter, what to do. So in order to catch a trade, you first devise a plan from the daily chart, okay? And then look for a smaller time frame for a good entry. So right here, uh, which by the way, I also alerted in the chat, which was this trend break right here. So to start to form this pattern right here, 
okay so if you look at it one minute let me just maximize this here so you can see so now that i know nvidia is a short most likely so if i see signs of negative or a signs of selling more i mean it means that my thesis is confirmed so this will give me more confidence and be prepared instead of me instead of me thinking oh should i buy this or should i short this i don't know what to do well you're already prepared for a short now you're looking for a good entry so there was this trend right here okay so you could have shorted right here okay your stop loss will be the high okay so that's number one now let's say that you missed that then other would be right here so there's another trend which is the one i took right here okay i took it right here um and i alerted it in the chat well before so i th that's why i was prepared before it was not like oh all of a sudden i saw this no no before the market even open i'm prepared already okay i'm prepared already and then look what happened so this was the best setup right here so this was this triangle pattern but on the opposite side because i already know again already know because i've prepared before the market even opened that i'm looking for a short and then there it is it just once it broke boom just instantly just like instant money right if you just short here options you would make i don't know how many percent but it's like well over 50 60 percent and you're probably risking 10 percent so i personally trade shares but a lot of people i know trade option because they have a smaller account which is fine uh, but this is again the whole idea is to make sure that you understand the overall picture before looking for a trend break or before looking for a pattern for short or long so two things first develop a plan for a bigger time frame uh, from a bigger time frame chart such as daily chart okay once you understand where the stock is heading towards then once the market opens the stock is doing what you thought and you had anticipated find good trading entries on a small time frame for a good risk to reward ratio all right guys so hope you guys enjoyed and you guys learned something and uh i'll see you guys later take care bye